You never can tell how tall your YouTube friends are. And when I meet a fellow YouTuber, I'm often surprised at their height. For instance, how tall do you think Jake Sloan is? Well, hello, Ken. How are you doing down there? I'm pretty good, buddy. <laughs> Holy crap. What is this? This is my cinema filming rig for when I go out on TV productions and other big productions. So basically, this is flying at 80 to 90 miles an hour, about $10,000 worth of FPV crap through the air. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you nervous having that much money in the air? Usually a little bit. Because, you know, people get nervous having 1200 bucks in the air, but that was just the lens, right? Yeah, so this is a RED camera, RED Komodo, which is, starts at about six grand. This lens is about a thousand. And you're filming too. at 6K, yep. which an Autel Evo can do, but That's it's true. all about the glass, isn't it? And the it, sensor. It is, it's yeah. all about the glass and the sensor. And so for example, when you, know, you get done with your DJI drone, or when I get done with my DJI drone, when I'm filming myself in Alaska, I come away with like 15 minutes of footage. That might be like 15 to 20 gigabytes. Yeah. So with this, a uh, three minute flight is usually 75 to 100 gigabytes. And it records on this thing. What is this called? So this is a CF Express card and it's purpose built to handle just a ton of data going through because obviously the sensor's writing a lot of data really fast. And so this has got a 512 gigabytes of memory and then uh, lots of throughput so the sensor can write or the camera can write all the data really quick. Now I filmed this uh, silo. This is the nation's silo in Nashville, Tennessee. It's got a mural that was painted by this artist, because I can't remember his name, but I'll put it on the screen. What kind of battery you got on this puppy? So on the back, I run, usually Ooh. I run a Tattoo uh, 4000 milliamp 95C battery. And that gives me, depending on how hard I'm flying, three and a half to five minutes of flight time. May I hold it? Sure. Ooh. How much did this cost again? Yeah, it's about 10 grand. Here you go. You sure you, you don't want to? Mm. You got uh, turtle mode enabled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I use turtle mode with this all the time. <laughs> <Can> you imagine? <laughs> Let me turtle my red camera. Just <laughs> in case you didn't see it, it's got eight propellers yeah. and eight motors. I didn't notice so that. So that's... What does it sound like? I bet it's terrifying, isn't it? It's, it sounds like a wailing banshee or some dinosaur that's screaming coming to take your head off. Let's hear it. Is it manual focus? Yeah, 100% manual. And you can't focus it once it's in the air? No. And that's one thing that, that can be kind of, a, I mean, it is a downside with working with this is there's a lot more workflow before and after the flight to mm -hmm. use the footage, which is why it's more like it's a high production thing, not something I go out and just freestyle with friends. Right. <laughs> At least not normally, but since Ken is such an awesome guy. Yeah, 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 thanks man. We're, uh, we're having fun today. Okay. So this is a stabilization unit. It records gyro data and then it records a sync track to the audio track of the camera. And then later in post, I merge the two and synchronize it and can stabilize the footage or not if I don't want to, but, uh, so as part of that, I get to do this really fun, happy little dance right before I get ready to take off. Okay. And basically it's, you set a sync, some sync points for the software to find. I think that's pretty silly. <laughs> oh my God. That sounds so awesome. Right? Oh my gosh. It's a whole lot of uh, drone to be thrown up in places. Yeah. Let me get up here. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can. Wow. I don't know if I could even track that. Let me try. Yeah, I got enough. Let me do one more. Oh my goodness. Ready to watch a roll? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man.
Are you about to land? Oh, I was going to hover for you. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, man. Look at you. God, look, you're creating so much the downforce on that. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to land. Okay. Yeah, the downwash is lots. You're good. Go oh, well. Man. Pretty awesome, huh? That is awesome. You wanna you wanna fly it? I'm doing that Homer backing away into the bushes thing. <laughs> yeah, give me that thing, I'll fly it! Give me that thing! Alright, go All right, here we go! Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh, it's got so much power. Oh yeah. Do I do a dive? Yeah. Do you trust me with the $10,000 dive? Yeah, go for it. I'll pay you if I break it. Okay. Ah! Oh God. <laughs> oh, I did a flippy do. Oh my goodness. I want one. How do I get one? Will you build me one? Do I have to build it myself? I can build you one. Thanks, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Alright, alright. All right. You can dive? Uh, you can dive? No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I, can't. I, can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. And scene. Man, that was good acting, huh? Yeah. There's no freaking way I would fly that thing. There's no freaking way you'd let me. Were That's you, probably true. Were you believing it? You were believing it, weren't you? You're like, he's letting Ken fly that? Have you seen Ken crashes? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. And now through the magic of editing. Well, Jake, thank you very much for helping me with that video and for letting me fly your $10,000 drone. Absolutely. It was great to finally meet in person. Yeah, and to see how much freaking shorter I am. <laughs> but as a reward for helping me, now are you ready for the best milkshake in Nashville? I absolutely am ready because this Alaskan is melting in this heat. Okay. I need something to cool me back down. Well, here we are at Bobby's Dairy Bar. You know when you have a place with colorful furniture, it's going to be delicious. Yes. The brighter the colors, the better things are. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true with anything. That's why I only date girls with rainbow hair. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And remember, before you fly a drone, you're going to want to get your pallets license, y'all. Pallet! Get it? You get it? You, he gets it. I like how the red camera has a skull on it when you turn it on. <laughs> it's pretty much how I feel every time I take this drone off. It's like certain death is waiting right. somewhere. Let's hope it doesn't happen today. Yes. That's a cute drone. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, would you mind if I did a little uh, air to air shots with this? Yeah. You trust me? Uh, yeah, I try. You shouldn't. Uh. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> We've already had a collision. Damn it. It didn't even take <laughs> off, and he already broke my drone. <laughs> We're here at the JW Marriott in Nashville, Tennessee. I love the reflection of the city. Oh, it's got to look amazing. Look at that. Oh. I don't dare go around to the restaurant side, which would be cool, but there's too many people in the street directly yeah. under. Yeah. And I do want to be careful. So, 3.7, this will be the final one. Gotta bring it in. Are we drawing any attention from? No, we're good. Okay. It's oh, loud. Now, you're getting, now you're getting some attention. It's loud when you pull out of the thing. Yeah. Okay, bring it back over. Get my smooth landing. Ooh. <laughs>